It was his first communion. It was his last communion. It was his only holy communion. Hi everyone, this is Father Rocky with another amazing story about the Holy Eucharist. Years ago when I was chaplain at Northridge Prep, I received a phone call from a guy named Tom out in Boston. I had not spoken to him in 20 years. And he said, Father Rocky, would you visit my friend? He's down at the University of Chicago in the hospital and I think he's dying and he needs to see a priest. Well, the University of Chicago hospitals on the south side is rather complex to get to. And I said, has he asked for a priest? He said, no, he hasn't asked for a priest, but he needs to see a priest. I said, is he Catholic? He said, no, but he needs to see a priest. I said, okay, well, I will do my best. Well, the next day I was driving down to Indiana to go to a retreat. I stopped by the University of Chicago. I checked into his room. He wasn't there. A week went by and he was transferred into a rehab facility up in north of the suburbs. And I came in on a Friday evening to meet this guy. His room was dark. His complexion was very dark. I said, hi, my name's Father Rocky. I'm a friend of your friend, Tom. He asked me to visit you. I am a Catholic priest. Can I come in? He said, sure, come in. And we got to know each other. He was waiting for a liver transplant. He had lived a life that he regretted, and he thought it was all his own darn fault that he needed a liver. And he didn't think he was worthy to get a liver because it meant somebody else had to die first for him to get a liver. So I realized the situation was really serious and he was very sad and very down and very fearful. I said, well, I'm a Catholic priest. Um, do you believe in God? He said, yes, I believe in God. What's your religion? He said, I don't know. We never really practiced. Were you baptized? I think so. Do you have any relatives around here? No, he was all alone. I said, well, you are in danger of death. He said, I know I'm in danger of death. As a Catholic priest, when you're in danger of death, I can offer you some sacraments. I can offer you the sacrament of confession. You can confess all your sins and be forgiven. I can offer you the anointing of the sick, which can give you peace of mind and soul and even maybe restore your physical strength. And I can give you Holy Communion, which is Jesus Christ himself truly present in the Holy Eucharist. Would you like that? He said, oh, I'd really like that. And so I heard his confession and I anointed him. And I brought out the Holy Eucharist and I raised it before his eyes and said, this is the body of Christ. And his eyes got as big as silver dollars and he received Holy Communion. It was his first communion. It was his last communion. It was his only communion. And as I gathered up my articles to leave, I said to him, well, you're in God's hands now. And then he said something I will never forget. He said, and what good hands those are. It was an amazing transformation in just 20 minutes of time of the person who had dark thoughts and fearful thoughts and self-recriminating thoughts to one of complete peace and trust in God. Two weeks later, I was in Mexico on a service project. I got the news he had passed away. I knew he went to heaven. It was his first communion. It was his last communion. It was his only holy communion. And that's why we're having the Corpus Christi procession on the days leading up to the National Eucharistic Congress in Indianapolis. I'm gonna be there. I hope to see you there. Let's all show up for Jesus. Mm -hmm.